Kyrgyzstan. Characterized by the Tian Shan mountain range, the country is often referred to as the water tower of Central Asia. Focusing on livestock farming and grain production, the agriculture sector is still dominant in the country's economy. However, the country is facing severe problems of pasture and grassland degradation. This is mainly caused by a critical increase in livestock numbers that led to overgrazing. Additionally, the lack of investments in sustainable land and pasture management practices also contributed to this situation. In 2015, an estimated 70% of the pastures were already lightly to severely degraded. The good news is alternative practices and technologies are readily available. Subsistence farmers, however, can often barely take risks. Supported by the Economics of Land Degradation ELD initiative and the Consultative Group on International Agricultural Research, a team of the American University in Central Asia and the Kyrgyzstan Department of Kadasta looked at three different areas, Chonaksu, Kizil Unkur and Somkol. In each of the areas, they conducted a study to highlight the costs and benefits of sustainable land management and further better economic understanding. Three areas are very different and at the same time very similar. They are similar in the sense that they all have high land pressure, significant. So we have conducted cost-benefit analysis and modeled three situations. First situation is business as usual, so nothing has changed. Everything is goes along as it, as it is now. So what's happening that there is an overgrazing, uh, carrying capacity has been exceeded, there is a uh, constant pasture degradation, productivity of pasture has been falling. Uh, approximately on average across all three sides, pasture productivity has been falling for two and a half percent per year. On average, I mean, depending on the area, there is a loss. The smallest loss is almost quarter of million US dollars per year. Uh, at the same time, the second uh, uh, second scenario is uh, we call it favorable scenario when we also invest in the increase of pasture productivity, which is uh, pasture rotation, training of farmers, decreasing uh, capacities, carrying capacities, etc. At the same time, uh, the natural conditions are favorable, so there is no droughts. With this scenario, we have modeled that uh, there is an annual and constant increase in productivity. So this is a 10 years uh, period, and the second uh, the third scenario is about unfavorable weather conditions where we have implemented the same amount of investment we have invested, but the return on investment is smaller due to unfavorable weather, weather conditions. So in all three scenarios, we have uh, showed actually based on our economic analysis that uh, uh, the investment is worse. And we also use the different uh, uh, discount rates. One, 10 and 20, and across all discount rates, the investment is worthwhile. On all three sites, the net present value in a total economic value sense shows a significant increase compared to the baseline in both alternative scenarios. It goes up to 19.2 million US dollars in Son Col. In these calculations also, societal benefits such as carbon storage are included even though such benefits are often not taken into account as farmers do not yet associate climate protection services with real income. The study found that all sites experience pasture degradation due to overgrazing. We found that the drivers of the land degradation are complex. The main drivers of pasture degradation can be grouped into three categories, economic, uh, institutional and uh, social culture. Uh, we tried to demonstrate for local authorities and government institutions that uh, ELD can be an integral part of policy strategies and uh, decision-making by increasing the political and uh, public awareness of the costs and uh, benefits of land and uh, land-based ecosystems. Highland pastures and grasslands offer many ecosystem services and play a vital role in the welfare of Kyrgyzstan's people. It is essential to stop and reverse land degradation. 
Therefore, the study suggests parallel measures to further develop institutional capacities, diversify incomes, increase livestock productivity and implement sustainable pasture management practices. Changing the approach of land management is a crucial step towards a sustainable future that benefits both people and ecosystems.